Have you ever wondered how can you have a positive impact on your environment engaging professionally in architecture and urbanism? The SSA is our answer to that question. Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Valeria. We're from Critical Concrete. And together we're coordinating the SSA post-graduation. As a student of the Sustainable Sustainable Architecture post-graduation, you will not only benefit from a fantastic theoretical foundation through online courses, seminars and assignments, but also through practical experience on live construction projects. We see the program as a launching pad for conscious practitioners to build their skills, empowering them to make a real sustainable impact in their professional and local built environment. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, ready? We're ready. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> So my name is Marisa, I'm from Germany and I'm actually a social worker. So hi, I'm Yazid and I'm from Jordan. I'm Genius, I'm from Iran and my background is in architecture. Actually the experience, I was really looking for something where I can learn something which I can bring in different projects and for me it was just the perfect combination of like practical and also having the theoretical input. Getting the chance to work with my hands, uh, especially after several years of working uh, behind the desk, was something interesting for me. Also, um, when designing something on the computer or by sketching or drawing, it's always limited to the lines that you can draw. And now seeing how the wood, like wood jo joints f function together, how you could uh, work with the insulation and so on, gives me a new perspective on how to deal with materials and how to design things as well. I was just searching about the programs that, um, how can I continue the, you know, sustainability and how can I learn more about the sustainability in the architecture. So to have it combined, and have like the theoretical input, learning something about buildings and about sustainable construction, and then afterwards using it practically, it's like, it makes it very full. Dealing with different materials, I never dealt, dealt with tiling or with wood or uh, insulations with my bare hands, and uh, this is definitely eye-opening for sure. The online courses was amazing, and uh, uh, I've learned a lot from the online courses. Through this program, you will gain a strong foundation in a broad range of topics, ranging from building with natural materials, participatory design methods, vernacular architecture, and social project management. The program stretches across two semesters, with a staggered structure to spread out the workload and live elements. Every semester, we will be welcoming you to Porto for three weeks. This is your chance to put these theoretical principles into action, supported by leading mentors in the field. You can hold and breathe safer, and then uh, you may I'm Gianluca Stasi. I'm from uh, Rome, but I live in Sevilla from 2001. And there, in 2010, I founded my studio, that is called Control Seta. And uh, in this studio, I try to collaborate and uh, to contribute uh, to life of people on, on the community well aware that uh, this community and these people have like an history, some dreams that they want to realize with uh, this architecture. And uh, so this architecture must like be respectful of the past, of the past narrative and the past path to arrive to the moment, but also of the future. So I try to do an architecture really focused on people more than on the volumes and the structure and, and the picture. I'm Samuel Kalika, I'm a founder of Critical Concrete. Um, I'm also a mentor and a teacher in the post-graduation. What I think is very special in the workshop is that students get the opportunity to work and execute what they draw. And not only do it in a model, not only doing it like, like in a closed circle, but also doing into a real project that has like real social impact. Like for example in this one, what we've been doing um, has been furniture for a community space. What the students got when they arrived was kind of the, the lumber uh, milt and then from that we've been jumping into participatory design so they would work together, design together and the fun part of the mentorship I would say for us is that we work as kind of more mediator where like we don't, we don't design, we, we assist and help the students in designing and then try to empower them through the, the learning of the machines, the learning of the techniques into building these things. Yeah, it's nice. It makes, I think they, they were super proud and, and I was even prouder. I 
Are you ready to take the next step into a more sustainable future? Applications now open.